Hi everyone, it's Intang Mayumi. I'm back with my Christmas card series number 4. For today's card, I'm going to use Simon Says Stamp Ponsetia Background. I'm going to ink my background with Versamark ink and I didn't bother removing the plastic on my background because this is fairly large stamp so you don't really need a stamping tool for this and it's rubber so the impression is good. I lay my paper on top of the background stamp and then I use scratch paper to press down firmly to get good impression. I'm going to emboss this with Ranger Gold Embossing Powder. I will pour the embossing powder all over the panel and I'm using coffee filter here to catch the excess powder so I can funnel it back in the container. And then I can heat set the powder until melted and shiny using my heat tool. After I emboss the background, I'm going to die cut the panel with the largest die from Gina Marie Designs Scallop Stitch Rectangles. I'm going to secure the die on the paper with a little bit of washi tape. And here is my die cut panel. I'm going to distress the edges with H Mahogany Distress Oxide Ink using my blending tool. And for my image, I will use the bear from Knit and Tangled Berry Mary Stamp Set. I will stamp two of this bear and I'm going to use the other one on another card. After I stamp the images, I will emboss them with Wow Clear Embossing Powder. Then I'm just going to pour the embossing powder on top of the images and I will heat set them with my heat tool. I will also stamp uh, two of these images, the snowman and the present with Bursamark, Bursafine Onyx Black Ink and I have um, space on that paper there. And I will also emboss them with clear embossing powder, melt the powder, and we'll move on to coloring the images. I'm using my Daniel Smith uh, watercolors here to color these images. And I'm just doing very simple coloring here. I will let you watch this part and I will be back when the coloring is done. Now that the coloring is done, we'll move on to the next step. I already have fussy cut the scarf of the bears. Uh, this one's I saved uh, from project that I had last year. So that saved me time to fussy cut. All we need to do is die cut the bears, the present, and the snowman. And luckily, I have the coordinating dice for this stamp set. And I think I bought the dice because the die for the bear will also cut part of his arms so you can uh, so he can hold something like the present or the snowman. I will secure the die on the paper with washi tape so it doesn't move when I run it through my die cutting machine.
And then we'll go ahead and adhere the scarf on the bear with glossy accents. And I'm also going to tuck in uh, the present so it's like it looks like he's holding it. I have this light blue uh, vellum that I have in my stash. I die cut that with stitch circle die that I have. And then I'm going to remove the release paper from the foam tape and I'll adhere the bear on top of the vellum. Before we adhere everything on the panel, I'm going to um, adhere the panel on our card base first. And I'm just using a dry adhesive here. And we're, we'll go ahead and adhere that on our A2 size stop folding card base. For the sentiment, I just use one of the sentiment from the stamp set. I'm going to ink that up with Versamark ink. But before I stamp the sentiment, I'm going to prep my paper first with anti-static powder that I have and then stamp that on this uh, paper tree ink pure poppy cardstock and I will emboss this with wow opaque bright white embossing powder and then melt the powder with my heat tool. After I emboss the sentiment I'm going to cut it with my Fiskars trimmer. And then I'm going to distress the edges of this sentiment with H Mahogany Distress Oxide Ink. And then we can adhere everything on our card. I use glossy accents to adhere the bear with vellum and foam tape for the sentiment. And my card is finished. I did stamp the bear in the inside of the card with Collider Color to my two vine ink. I hope you like today's card and get inspired. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.